What is happening guys? It's your boy Logan Smokes and today we're gonna be playing some Mech Warrior Online. That is awesome. <laughs> Brings me back. For the optimistic cynic guy. Shit. Oh got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem to niggas is falling in happening, guys. It's your boy Logan Smokes, and I'm playing some mech warrior online because uh, I used to play this game a lot in a uh, long time ago when the Xbox, Microsoft Xbox original started, but I'm mainly playing this for my buddy uh, at work that got me all this equipment. He's never heard of this game, he used to play it all the time, but now I'm going to show you guys what it's about. So let's just launch this tutorial because I haven't played it before yet. But um, it's supposed to be pretty beautiful graphics, you know, all that good stuff. I might have to switch the camera around depending on where we're at on this area, but I think that's a good area, so. And I'll make sure to put um, my buddy's channel in the description if you guys want to check him out. He does some blowing up, blowing up shit, you know, real, real shit. Learn the controls and master your tech. There's some like awesome uh, customization options I was reading too. But let's see this. We're going in. So the year that. is 3051. Oh! Humanity has Good spread job. out amongst the stars, bringing their hopes, their fears, and their wars. The great houses and clans vie for territory and honor using gigantic fighting machines known as battle mechs. <laughs> you as a child of that conflict are about to join that war. Of course we will. Let's join. Some control Captain Adams ready for another one? <laughs> or meet for the grinder, huh? Let's Just bring me patch back. me through. We'll Welcome, recruit, to your first taste of iron and steel. My job? It's to make it a little less likely for you to crash and burn the moment you step on the battlefield. Let's go. Let's drop you down here where you won't get your ass shot off right away. You're sitting on top of a fusion reactor in a multi-ton war machine the oh. size of a building. First person. <laughs> Time to learn how to use it. Let's go. This is your augmented training hut. On your right, the training roadmap. It lets you know how you're progressing. On your left, the checklist. It shows your objectives and activities. Oh, oh yeah. Have a look around your cockpit. That's... When you're ready, power up your battle mech. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see how pretty this looks? You got all the buttons. Let's power this bad boy up. Reactor online. Sensors online. Oh yeah. All systems nominal. So that's the complicated HUD you're looking at. And that's why we're giving you access to a field menu. Just hit escape. Here you've got buttons for game settings and such. But you can also click on HUD elements to display a field manual entry. All click right. away at the display to pop up more information. Hit escape again to get back in control of your battle mech. Yeah, we don't need to know about that information yet. To help you learn the controls, your mech comes equipped with a cheat sheet. Of course. Press good. and hold F1 at any time if you need a reminder of what button does what. Try it now. Center legs, arm lock, free look, thumb pad, set throttle. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Navigate the weapon, loadout, send weapons, obviously jump jets, third person camera. Awesome. Now you know where to look. Don't forget it's there. No, I Use won't. it. I will. First things first. Let's get that battle mech moving. Movement. A and battle mech drives like a tank. Weapons. The mech goes where the legs are pointing, not where you're looking. That's why we play World of Tanks first, guys. Ignore that fact and you'll find yourself jammed up wondering why you're not moving. Now, since you're a raw recruit, you get extra help to show where your legs are pointing. Look down. 
That arrow shows you where your legs are pointing. The mech will move in that direction. Oh my god. Thank you. There it is. You found it. That arrow points forward for the mech, no matter where you're looking. Well, off you go. Hey, don't scratch the paint. Ooh. There's no strafing or sidestepping in a battle mech. You've got to turn to change direction. That makes sense, I guess. That's cool. I like it. Oh! Line C and F. Center, legs, under, torso. Hold S. Reverse throttle. This is all getting kind of old looking. Outside. This brings your view over around on top of your legs and your direction of travel. Shifts your legs so they line up with where you're looking. Oh, okay. You now have the basics to controlling all battle mechs. And now, let's look at your weapons. The status of each of your weapons is displayed in the lower right of your HUD. All right, weapon name, currently selected weapon, is in range, out of range, out of range. Labeled state, weapon cooldown, weapon ammunition. All right, that's pretty. Weapons are clustered sabotage. into groups that fire together when triggered. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll just enable your weapons and off you go. Weapons online. Battle makes can be configured in hundreds of ways with dozens of different weapon combinations. Yes, they can. Oh, weapons. That's your auto cannon. A ballistic weapon. That's a large laser mounted on your right arm. Those are medium lasers. Those are small lasers. They recharge quickly. Those are short range missiles. Your arms are now unlocked and can move freely. All weapons strike. What? Alpha Strike fires all weapons at once. Expect a lot of heat. The extra ridicule. Ballistic weapons run cool and have higher rates of fire, but they can run out of ammo. Alright, that's cool. Well, congratulations. I'm thoroughly convinced that, with minimal help, you seem to be fully capable of finding your own shiny brass backside. Sweet. So hopefully we're done with this tutorial because tutorials are annoying, but I am learning. Next up, the game. your battle grid mini map and compass. Make your way out of the landing zone to the next stage. That's a waypoint. The blue smoke and symbol marks it as an objective to go to. All right, I guess we're gonna have a little longer episode. That symbol appears on your compass and battle grid mini map. Off you go. Work your way over there and run through the smoke. This is your main battle grid map. You're marked as a little yellow arrowhead. The waypoint has its own icon. Alrighty. Right. You made it. Now let's see how well you drive that battle map. Start the challenge by going through the green start marker. Pilot challenge. Follow the arrows. One. And make your way through each yellow marker as fast as you can before the clock runs out. All right, well, let's go. Start the challenge by going through the green start marker. We're racing. Awesome feel being up this high. Oh, I 
the wall a little bit. It's alright, we recover. There's different classes as well. They're uh, the smaller ones, they're gonna have the huge ones, they're gonna have. Like, it's kinda like World of Tanks wise of upgrading. But obviously, you're a lot fucking bigger than a fucking tank. Look at that, I can just walk over all this shit. Like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck nature. Here. Okay, straight. Look out of here, I got lasers, ho. Oh no. Where am I going? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Get out of your tree. Hey. Finish. Let's go. There's the finish. Bronze is better than most first timers. Sea bills. Okay, that's cool. So that must be uh, our currency or something. Congrats, like that. recruit. You made it through. So let's see what's next on the agenda. See those pillars of light? They mark the starting point for an academy challenge. Academy that one challenge. reruns the pilot challenge for a chance to earn any awards you missed. Okay. That one leads on to the next stage. Basic targeting. Just walk into the light. Alright then, fucker. Let's get some shit going. So, let's get you dealing with the enemy. One of the most important enemies appear as red arrowheads on the map and as red stuff. diamonds on the compass. Friendly forces appear in blue. That's me on your map. So go find the enemy. Enemy mechs need to be in line of sight to show up on your radar. So keep a wary eye out. Oh. Target acquired. Shortly after targeting, a detailed scan appears. Targets farther away take longer to scan. That's a boar's head atlas. A big, bad assault mech. This is the enemy's damage indicator. When you target a mech, you get a full scan of its weapons and health, front and back. Each part of a battle mech has separate health and Learning armor. A lot today. Gold is full health. Orange is damaged. And red means dangerously low and about to go. One way to kill a mech is by destroying its center torso. Always check your damage indicator. The center torso on this one is ready to blow. One shot may do it. So, you do realize there's a faster way? Use the damage panel! Destroyed. That's the way, but be careful. There's another battle mech behind you. Anything out of you won't show up on your map. Target acquired. And that's a battle master, a hell slinger. An 85 ton assault mech with lots and lots of weapons. 85 ton. The torso on this one is untouched, but a battle mech can also be taken out by destroying both legs. Hmm. And by a great grand coincidence, this one has one leg gone. Shoot the other to finish it off. And we'll do a final shot. Or maybe not. A final shot. Two down, one to go. There we go. Find the last enemy battle mech. Target acquired. Listen closely. There's another, much harder way to take out a battle mech. Okay. And that's to destroy the small, vulnerable window protecting the cockpit. The cockpit is a very small part of the head. Miss, your shot just hits the torso. Target destroyed. That's right. Headshot. That's what it means, is headshot. That's all there is to it. Now here's a few more for you to practice on. I don't, I don't need to practice on any, but thank you. Let's go. 
target acquired. That one's hiding in the smoke. Try thermal vision to cut through the haze. And then you go like... Target destroyed. Four kills remaining. Target acquired. Armor on the cockpit is gone, but the vulnerable spot on most battle mechs is quite small. Target destroyed. Obviously, you just want to shoot at him. Target first, or you won't know what's better. Target. One leg is gone. Go for the other one. Okay, I am trying to skip past this. Heat limit exceeded. Oh, oh no. well, you've overheated and shut down. Now you'll have to wait for everything to cool off for a few moments before you can do anything. This is going to be a long-ass episode, but still... I'm doing it for my buddy. Hopefully he'll download it. Because it is free on Steam. Which is pretty awesome. And it runs pretty good. Oh, wait. One leg Target is gone. Acquired. Go for the other one. And Ultimately, that's Ultimately, I... heat limits how much damage you do. Watch your temp gauge and learn how much heat each weapon generates. Okay, so doing that, obviously, uh, you generate a lot more heat. Which makes sense, though. But if only I knew where a mech was. Aha! Come here, you little Target fucker. Applied. This one's core. Just shoot it in the chest. Fuck out. Fuck out of here. Basic tutorial completed. Well, we're just about done here. But there's way more to. For that, we provide a playground to train and test yourself and your battle mechs. Alright, alright. Welcome. To the Mech Warrior Academy. We are now Test part of the Test weapons and now. battle mechs at the firing range. Survive the gauntlet. Improve your targeting skills. And try out new battle mechs. Of course. Awesome possum. So we just passed the basic training. I think that's all I'm going to do for this episode. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. I am going to have a lot more of this coming. Um... Hopefully I'll have my own battle mech and then I'll customize a little bit, but I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.